What's up, everybody? I am Sniggenhoff, and we are back once again playing Pokemon Blue, randomized, in a Nuzlocke, doing all the things. In the last episode, we made our way to Bill's house. We talked to Bill, had a grand old time, and now we're going to go fight Missy. But first, let's take a, ch take a quick look at the team. We've got John Adams, a level 19 Persian with Payday, Growl, Bite, and Screech. We've got Thomas Jefferson, a level 20 Ivysaur, Tackle, Growl, Leech Seed, and Vine Whip. We have got James Madison. The level 18 Pidgeotto with Gust, Sand Attack, and Quick Attack. We have got James Monroe, get the heck out of North America, the Star U, the level 16 Star U even, with Tackle, rocking it. And we have got John Quincy Adams, the level 21 Amastar. Ama Knight, Amastar. I can't even remember. Uh, with Water Gun, Withdraw, and Horn Attack. And finally, we have got Andrew Jackson, the $20 bill himself, level 21. Vulpix with Ember, Quick Attack, Tail Whip, and Roar. So, let's go heal up, and then we're going to go fight Misty, just right off the bat. Hopefully things go fine. Um, I will say, as a child, Misty tore me up every single time. Because I started with Squirtle, and Squirtle, uh, Squirtle doesn't have a good time against... Uh, against the, that big old Starmie, especially when he's dropping. Well, he didn't know a psychic move, I don't think. But even so, I could never... I always had a hard time beating, her, beating him. And I was probably just too proud to go and catch a Bulbasaur. Or not a Bulbasaur, a um, Bellsprout, that's what I mean. Or an Oddish to make that fight a lot easier. But it's whatever. Um... Leave Monroe out front for now. Actually, before I do that, let's take a stop at the Pokemon. We have something to sell, some things to things to buy. No. Sell. Sell this nugget. Fantastic. Now let's buy some stuff. Potions. Maybe buy ten of those. I've got antidotes. Let me buy two awakenings. And another paralyzed heal. Call it good with call that good for now. Alright, now let's do this. Alright, what you guys got? Splash! It'd be funny if it rolled into water Pokemon. Spearow! Looks like we might have flying type. Or normal type. Which will mean that Quincy is probably still our best option. Against all these. Solid as a rock. Lack a rock! Almost. Almost the one shot. But that means Misty is going to have, like, two legendary birds. Firo. Let's just leave him out. Yeah. Well, it, that, well actually, I don't know. Because they're both normal flying, so... Could be either, could go either way. Growl is fine. Alright, battle numero dos. Misty can wait. This girl has got to show me a little something something first. Farfetched. Yeah, definitely flying. Well, no, it's normal flying again. But I'm assuming it's flying. There's far more normal types out there that are not flying, and the fact that we've seen three normal flying seems to indicate that it's flying. 
means she's gonna have freaking Devil Zapdos. My whole team is gonna die. Maybe it will. Maybe it rolled normal flying though, because that was something I was wondering in the last battle. Is if it rolls the double type, uh, not the last battle, but when I fought that dude in the last video, that had like a Parasect and two Parases, and then an Executor. But that's a bit of an outlier. I wonder if it rolls the full type and not just like one part of the type. But I'm not sure. But that's not what happened with Brock. Brock had a Tentacool, Tentacruel, and a Golbat. So. I mean, there's just, there is a lot of normal flying types out there. Okay, I'm just going to lead with Quincy, not you. Lord Helix. Alright, who's ready for gym battle number two? I am. You're a new face. What is your approach when you catch Pokemon? My policy is all uh, all out offensive with Water type Pokemon, which is kind of uh, kind of ironic considering that Water type is one of the best defensive types in the game. But Doduo, Doduo and Dodrio for uh, for Misty, that'd be dope. Dodopo, bad joke. I'm sorry. Ah, really want that one hit, one shot. Yeah, X defend, get him. Zubat. What? I guess it is flying type. Um, anybody else I'd rather send out a bit against Zubat? Send out Adams. Should be able to handle a Zubat. A Zubat with Bubble Beam? That's hilarious. So, it will, whatever Pokemon they have in the second slot. Or what? Like what they would normally know the uh, the TM move. We'll know the TM move. That's awesome. Have the Cascade badge. Uh, all the level 30 Pokemon obey me, obey me now, and I get Bubble Beam, which is great. I don't know if I'm gonna teach it to Omanyte just yet. I may save it. Like, somewhere down the, down the line in the future, it may be better to give to Star You or Star Me, if I decide to have him on the team uh, uh, instead of uh, Ammonite. How many Pokeballs do I have? Oh, not that button. Five. Let me do one thing right quick. Positive items. HP up. Ah, uh, no, we'll hold on to the other. That's medicine. Not great medicine, but medicine nonetheless. SSN ticket here in the near future. So we will hold on to that. Okay. Now, let me go buy some more Pokeballs. And then we will move on down to the next route. Catch a new Pokemon. Fight this Team Rocket dude. Get Dig. Let's just buy 10. Also, what I would not give for a ground type right now. I really like ground types. And I also really like poison types, which is ironic considering that the one poison type I have on my team is currently sitting on my bench, but I just have better water types than him right now. So, just with a heavy heart, I have to keep him on the sidelines. All right, Mr. Team Rocket dude. I'm a bystander, you don't believe me? Okay, let's fight. Meowth, that's right. No, I still have Quincy up front. That's fine. Oh, 
Quincy has been the guy. And a Porygon. Just leave him out. You've earned it. Get that kill. Now, let me uh, switch it. TM28, that's Dig. There we go. Okay. Next Pokemon, and the Pokemon Daycare, if I care to do, do anything with that, but I don't think I do. All right, what do we get? Volt, uh, Jolteon. Why did I try to say Voltorb? Because I'm dumb. Volt, uh, Volteon. Jolteon. I am down for that. I am very down for that. Uh, but it will not be you fighting him. Jefferson's probably the best bet here. That was a crit. Alright, I'm just gonna try the Pokeball now. Although, I'm not sure it's gonna work. Considering that... Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have a pretty high catch rate. I'm not sure you have any electric type moves right now. This is a risk, though. Take, switch back out. Alright, hit him with that Pokeball now. Come on, bro. Oh, he does have it. That was a mighty big risk then. Jeez, come on! Don't make, don't make me run out of Pokeballs trying to catch you. Please. Gotcha. All right. And Jolteon, who is one getting immediately added to the team, is also the president, James K. Polk. Oop, wrong button. There we go. He was transferred to Bill's PC, and we're going to immediately go get him. Sorry, Monroe, but you have been replaced, at least for now. Is there a PC in the nursery? I feel like there should be. Nope. I guess without breeding it doesn't really matter, but still, I feel like there should be. And then I need to make sure, I think the on the other side of this, um, that little tunnel is another route, but I need to check that. Got the electric type I always wanted. Well, not the electric type I always wanted. Got a electric type I always wanted. The, ele the electric type I want is Zapdos, but beggars can't be choosers. Make sure he is up front. Like, let me also... Tons of speed and special. He does have Thundershock. Along with Tackle, Sand Attack, and Quick Attack, which is fantastic. Alright, heal him up. I feel like I just went through this. Have you ever been, uh, you ever been playing and, like, you're not 100% paying attention because you're in the Pokemon Center? And, like, you heal your Pokemon, like, five times in a row because you can't remember if you did it. And so you just hit A again and you just do it again. Or, like, when you're done playing and you're not paying 100% attention and you save, like, five times in a row because you can't remember if you saved already or not. 
I've obviously never done that ever. So you're you're the weirdo here. Um. All right. On to Vermilion City with the SSAN and Lieutenant Surge. And the place that has hidden items in it sometimes. But I'm, I just like run downwards and just hit A the whole time. Hope I run into anything and I almost never do. So yeah. Alright, let me see. This is a separate route. Count map. Route 6. Yeah, that's Route 5, this is Route 6. So we get another catch here. Fantastic. I've said fantastic like four times this episode already. I should stop. But would that be fantastic? Probably not. Alright, what we got? What we got? Give me something good. A Rhyhorn! Ooh! I like that. Although this uh, folk's kind of really bad against that. to think where he might fit in on the team. And for now, I'm not sure he does. But he might in the future. I mean, I can never, like, talk about the team like nothing's ever going to change, you know? All right. And we had John Tyler last episode, or the episode before that. This guy is Zachary Taylor, and uh, the second president to die in office, and his cause of death is unconfirmed, but my favorite theory about how he died is the day before he died, he it was a hot July day outside in Washington, D.C., and he sat down to eat a big old bowl of cherries, and uh, cherries are, are uh, high in arsenic, and there was someone who told him, like, hey, bro, you probably shouldn't eat all those cherries. It can make you sick. And then the next day, he was sent to the hospital with stomach pains, and he died a week later. So it is possible and we had a president who basically murdered himself by eating too many cherries, which is just great. Just fantastic. That's the America we need to get back to. Uh... Mr. Jackson. More barrages. Slowpoke. Okay, so he's got Psychic type. Yeah, let's switch out to Jefferson. Actually, I yeah, probably could have sent out. Uh, probably could have sent out Polk there. That would have been fine. Would have taken less damage than that confusion for sure. Another slow poke. Yeah, let's go ahead and send out poke this time. Thundershock. Oh, he's too fast. Ooh, jeez. Them crits. And the paralyzed. And the fully paralyzed. Way to go. My bro, Jolteon. Getting some work done on this team. All right. Moving right along. Cedra, level 20. Can you take a level 20? Let's find out. Bubble. That was a crit, and it did about a third.
Nice paralyze. That's what we needed. Got him. Lining him up and knocking him down. James K. Polk cannot be stopped. Um, yeah, we'll just leave it like this. This is a private conversation? Like, really? Spiro. Hey, I've got just the dude to fight, Spiro. Oh, didn't one shot him. Dodrio. I'm a little scared to fight Dodrio here. He is like seven levels, seven levels higher, but still. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button down below, as well as subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. Um, what do you, what Pokemon do you think Gary will have when we go fight him on the SSN? Anyways, once again, thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time.